Alright guys, so we're going to be doing a bit of a series of videos with this gun. I might make it one really long video, I'm not entirely sure yet, but anyway, this is a buddy of mine's rifle in a 30 6 it's a Remington 780L I believe. It has a Nikon, some kind of Nikon scope on it, I'm actually not sure what model it is, but uh, Pro Staff, evidently. Anyway, we are going to be shooting a handful of factory ammo through this. I will try to pull up a picture so that you guys can actually see exactly what loads we're shooting, but we're shooting Sierra. Hornady, Barnes, and then three different SKUs of Nosler. So there's going to be a uh, game, Tip Game King, uh, ELDX, TTSX, Ballistic Tip, Partition, and Acubon. But we're going to put three rounds each through this gun. We're going to put rounds on paper. I'm not really doing this to see how accurate the gun is. I just, we're going to be putting it in a different stock, and I want to see how different the groups are going to be with the same uh, different ammo and not just one load through this stock and then we're going to take it out of this stock and we're going to put it into a probably a chassis but I want to see what it's going to do with these uh, in the stock that it's in which is very much touching the barrel we are also currently reviewing the CV Life bipod don't know how that's gonna do, but we're gonna leave it on here while it's in this stock and then we'll put a different bipod on when we do the chassis. We're gonna be changing a lot on the gun. I originally started with a very, very dusty, not clean firearm, cleaned it all up, took the rings off, unmounted everything, unbolted everything, cleaned it all off, freshened it up, you know, made sure that everything was uh, loctited and good to go. And like I said, we're gonna rip it out and re it in the, the new stock. But for the time being, um, everything is Remounted we already replaced the base. It had a two-piece base on it. Now. It's got a one-piece pick rail and uh, We're gonna go ahead and shoot these groups. We got six groups to do right now I just kind of did a rough side in which is why the caps are off I'm gonna probably have to do some more adjustments But really hope I don't shoot the GoPro because I don't know how well this gun's gonna shoot yet And the GoPro is like really close to the target, but We're gonna go ahead and put the first group hopefully right in the center with the 165 grain Sierra Tip Game Kings. Well, the side end was good, evidently. It's not shooting all that bad. Now, I will say, we are at 50 yards right now. We're not at 100, so remember that or 63 yards something like we're not at 100 yards but we're, we're definitely closer than that it's uh probably less than 65 yards but just keep that in mind as we're going through this because i know that um everybody does their testing at 100 yards but because of the weather and where we're at right now i can't really get to my 100 yard spot exactly so we're going to test these at 50 or less than 100 because that's what i got it's easier for the time being. I hate these caps. They are not wanting to go on here. Arr, just take the threads. You can do this. Okay, the next rounds that we're going to be firing are going to be the Hornady Precision Hunter ammo. It's 178 grain ELDX load. We're gonna see how those do. Probably gonna go for that top left diamond. I'm definitely gonna be sore after today because this thing don't do real well with recoil. It's not super comfortable. Yeah, those are pretty bad. <laughs> Even at 50 yards, that's that's not good at all. I'm expecting flyers because this thing has such a lack of a free float. Um, so I'm not going into this with the greatest expectations, which probably isn't fair, but I've just dealt with this long enough to know the downsides of having that issue and I've seen what it does on paper. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about the heat as much today because it's pretty darn cold. So I don't have to worry about the barrel taking forever to cool down because I am not taking forever to cool down, but we're going to throw in the next load here, which is a Barnes 180 grain TTSX load, the heaviest so far, which I am so excited about, with this incredible factory recoil pad that we got here. What? 
that one actually kind of impressed me. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we are fully intending to hand load for this thing after we get done testing the factory ammo and throwing it into a new chassis deal. I don't want to hand load for it until I get it in its final configuration, so to speak. I just, I don't want to mess with it. It just takes a lot of time and it's a, uh, it's not really the the point of what we're trying to do we're just we're getting a baseline right now just to show the difference between it and the stock and that was actually impressive like i said i was not expecting it uh to shoot a group quite like that of course like i said we are at 50 yards we're not shooting real far but just something to keep in mind so that made me fairly happy um but it is always good to see a good baseline you know to see what a gun can do before you start tweaking stuff the next load we're going to be shooting is a Nosler ballistic tip and 165 grain loaded by Federal. This is not actually Nosler ammo, it's a Nosler projectile, but it's loaded by Federal. They got nickel plated grass here with that classic green tipped ballistic tip 30 cal bullet there. So we're actually going down in grain weight now. Went from 165 to 178 to 180 and it definitely seemed to do well with those 180s. I'm curious to see what it'll do with these ballistic tips here. We'll throw that on that top right diamond Wow we were doing really good there for a second and then it just kind of went to crap I'm gonna go down and check to make sure the GoPro is actually still recording because it's been giving me issues with just randomly shutting off, which is phenomenal when you're doing these longer videos and you don't even realize it didn't catch half the footage. And then we will come back and shoot these last two groups. All right, the next load we're gonna be shooting is a Nosler, loaded by Nosler, trophy grade ammo, 165 grain AccuBond bullet, which has that white tip on them. And then last thing we got is the 165 partitions. I just got a good deal on these, so I I wasn't necessarily the ammo I wanted to choose necessarily, but it was kind of hard to pass up. They were on a clearance table, so I just went ahead and grabbed them. Pretty good group. I like it. All right, so Nosler bullets are hit or miss. <laughs> I'm assuming the flyers are because of the, the stock contact. We will sort of find out when we get the chassis or news, whatever we put on here. It's just going to be not a synthetic plastic, you know, tactical Tupperware style stock. Now, Last thing we got is the 165 grain partition Nosler trophy grade ammunition. These do have that soft point too, so this is actually the only soft point that we have shot today. Well, it's not the only soft point I've shot today, but it's the only soft point I've shot on camera. I don't actually know where that second shot went. I'm assuming it went in the same hole, but that's just because I can't find it. Well, it doesn't really matter if that second one went in the same hole because that one was like way to the left. So that actually concludes this video. Like I said, this portion of it's actually gonna be relatively quick, just doing three shot groups, get a baseline, see what the comparison will be between this one and the next set of groups that we do which we'll probably go ahead and throw this into a new stock do the same exact thing after we get it all completely outfitted the way that it's going to be finalized um, we're going to shoot these same ammos probably try to do them in the same order if i can remember and then we're going to directly compare those two and then we'll start hand loading for it if uh, we feel the need 
to do so because it probably will reduce the cost of these shells a little bit but anyway thank you guys for watching i don't know if i'm going to string this into one long video but if not please check out the website and the other links in the description below so that you can get more involved in risen citizen if you'd like to or just see us on the other platforms that we present ourselves on again thank you for watching hope to see you later and we will catch you guys on the next video take care